New tonight, the Finley Fraternal Order of Police has been a staple in the community for years. And now a new foundation is helping them bridge the gap between kids and police. 13 Action News reporter J.D. Pooley has the story all new tonight. The Fort Finley Fraternal Order of Police Foundation has been promoting positive interactions between youth and law enforcement, relying on several key events each year. The Fraternal Order of Police was started in the 1900s in Pennsylvania when police officers there felt their work week was too long. They were working, you know, 80, 90 hours a week. They had no protections at work. So if you like working five days a week, 40 hours, not having the weekends to work, you can thank a police officer for that. Teresa White, development director for the Finley's FOP, says its lodge, formed in 1935, is one of the oldest lodges in the country. Back in the 80s, they did the Grand Old Opry show, which was a fantastic thing. Some of the guys still talk about how they get to they got to show mini Pearl around Finley. Fast forward to now, the FOP has formed a foundation that is able to support more programming for local youth. We want to make sure that kids know that if they have a problem, if they feel unsafe, if they're if something's going on, they can go to a police officer, that that is where they go to be safe. That is where they go to be helped. With the help of the newly formed foundation, the FOP now reaches over 650 kids each year with their programming. Increase the number of positive interactions, have a paid staffer. Those positive interactions still resonate with Britt Knippen, who took part in the Shop with a Cop program when she was nine years old. Her parents were going through a divorce at the time. Really hopeful. It, it was inspiring. It, you know, really just gave a positive spin to a year that wasn't so great. But what people forget is how amazing that is for our officers. Our officers are out there every day dealing with people on literally the worst day of their lives. But then they get to hang out with kids. They get high fives and hugs and fist bumps. And what that does for their mental health, it doesn't erase everything. But wow, does it help sometimes. In Finley, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.